are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, Black and White Sports fans, now that Emane Khalif has actually won a gold medal in women's boxing at the Olympics, despite being found to be a male by the IBA, what's next? Well, what's next is he is going after you for harassment. Yes, he's going after you for harassment in the courts, it seems. Because now, guys, the main caliph has filed a legal complaint for online harassment. I guess bigotry and racism. I don't know how the racism actually came into this. But apparently that's what his lawyer said, guys. This is utterly insane. And of course, the mainstream media is actually, um, you know, back in the main caliph saying that if you actually call the main caliph a man, then you're um, being false. You're bigoted, that kind of thing. But the chromosomes don't lie, guys. If you are X, Y, you're male. If you have two X's, you're females. Even the female opponents know that. Because they were actually in the ring after the fight that they actually lost. Why? Because they were actually fighting a man. They were throwing up two X's. But online, people are actually calling this out, man. People are furious, man, with the IOC for allowing two men to go into the ring and box women. Both him and Lin Yuting dominated. Just yesterday, Lin Yuting won a gold medal and the female's face was bloody and bruised. But we're the ones, you know, harassing people when they were actually physically harassing women in the ring. And some of these women didn't like it, guys. Now they are triggered. Let's get into this. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. You guys can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com or supporting us on Locals. Both for just $5 per month. Check the links in the description. So here we go, guys. Check this out. Olympic boxing champion Emane Khalif filed a legal complaint for online harassment against him. Online harassment, man. So calling a person with XY chromosomes a man or a male is harassment? And saying that men shouldn't be um, fighting against women? That's harassment? We're living in a clown world, folks. We are living in a clown world. Look at this. This is from the AP, AP right here, and they are shilling for Emane Khalif. Says here, Olympic boxing champion Emane Khalif has filed a legal complaint in France for online harassment after a reign of criticism. And check this out. They put in false claims about her sets. During the Paris Olympics, his lawyer said Sunday, wait a minute, false claims? What's the false claims? We already know this is a male. So how is this false claims? It's a fact. Is it, it is a biological fact, guys. Khalif won gold Friday in the women's welterweight division, becoming a new hero in his native Algeria and bringing global attention to women's boxing. The complaint was filed Friday with a special unit in the Paris prosecutor's office for combating online hate speech, alleging aggravated cyber harassment targeting Khalif, lawyer Nabo Boudi said. In a statement, he described it as misogynist, racist, and sets his campaign against a boxer. You see, guys, misogynistic folks, if you actually go online, man, Riley Gaines and Martina Navratilova, two women were actually saying this is wrong. This person should not be in a boxing ring with women because they know that this person is a male. 
And where did the racist stuff come from? I completely missed that, guys. Because all I'm seeing is that people are saying, hey, this is a man and this male should not be in the ring with women. And the women know that, too, that we're in the ring. Remember, they were protesting in the ring. So how in the world is this racism, man? It's crazy. It says it is now up to prosecutors to decide whether to open an investigation. As is common in French law, the complaint doesn't name an alleged perpetrator, but leads it to investigators to to determine who could be at fault. Well, it's going to be a whole bunch of people, guys, that they would actually have to go after. And I don't know about Algeria, man, but out here in the U.S., man, we actually do have free speech. It's under attack. And what they're doing in the U.K. now, man, is really insane. Really, really insane. So I don't know what's going to happen with this right here. Khalif was unwittingly thrust into a worldwide clash over gender identity and regulation in sports after his first fight when Italian opponent Angela Carini pulled out just seconds into the match, citing pain from opening punches. Yes, it's because Angela Carini was getting hit by a male. Apparently, she had never been hit by a male. Look here, they go on. False claims that Khalif was transgender or a man erupted online and the IOC defended him and announced those uh, peddling misinformation. Thing is, man, at first I remember that there was on speculation that Khalif was transgender. And then that wasn't right. This is just a man with some type of an anomaly going on internally, it seems. But still, this is a man. But the AP is saying that um, that it's wrong. It's not right. Khalif said that the uh, spread of misconceptions about his about him harmed human dignity. What? You're a male with X Y chromosomes. Now you may have set organs from both sexes, but when it comes to your chromosomes, man. You're male. And look here, they even mention here the Olympics um, ban International Boxing Association uh, disqualified Khalif. And actually, it wasn't the Olympics. It was actually just the um, IBA here. Disqualified Khalif and fellow boxer Lin Yu Ting of Taiwan from the world championships last year, claiming the two fighters failed unspecified eligibility tests for women's competition. No. They failed a sex test. All they did was swap the cheek. The result, the results came back. Oh, these are men. Wow. The IOC is called the arbitrary sex test that the sports governing body imposed on the two women. Flawed. What? And has defended both boxers since the start of the Paris games. And look, here, they go into this other stuff, too, here. This is really crazy right here. Experts say the scrutiny of uh, Khalif and Lynn reflected disproportionate scrutiny and discrimination towards female athletes of color. Wow. When it comes to sex testing and false claims that they are male or transgender. Thing is, they are males. They are males. And Khalif here is triggered that people are actually following the science and actually saying Yes, this is an XY male fighting against women. And that's wrong. I mean, they even look like men. Wow. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know. Stick about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.